Hello dear viewers Have you ever thought what is the purpose of education Traditionally education has a simple role that is to discipline children and to prepare them for some profession for some job for some vocation means for earning some livelihood but the time has come to think about the aim of education because on one hand we see great technological advancement around us at the same time we see floundering relationships growing fragmentation in society growing unhappiness as well as anxiety and stress in individuals therefore now it is necessary that in addition to focusing on traditional curriculum schools and colleges will have to take the additional responsibility of teaching students some new skills they'll have to teach how to cope with stress how to regulate anger how to improve relationship how to think healthily and therefore savitri bai phule pune university's board of studies has included a very thought provoking essay the function of education written by j krishnamurthy in the syllabus of tyba compulsory english so let's focus on function of education written by j krishnamurthy let me introduce myself myself professor mishram ko sunetra assistant professor in department of english jat art science and commerce college for women maligao j krishnamurthy he was born on 11th may 1895 he died on 17 february 1986 that is at the age of 90 he was a philosopher author and public speaker he was greatest philosopher and thinker of 20th century his revolutionary ideas on education are influencing educational reforms and policy the world over he was great speaker and writer he was selected and nurtured at a young age by the theosophical society headed by annie besant his spirit grew independently and he did not want to follow anyone he said the moment you follow someone you cease to follow truth and therefore j krishnamurthy himself stopped following anyone his views on education are revolutionary in his work he revealed the purpose of education in connection with understanding life intelligence learning attention inward feed freedom and creation of new society so we'll focus on his essay what is the purpose of education j krishnamurthy has raised the question are we educated only to pass the exam and get a job or then to get married and becoming more and more like machines he argued that the purpose of education is to prepare people for life and it can be done by making students feel free he said that should we just 
study to be proficient in maths and physics he suggested not to study for life but to study life education is to understand the whole process of life that is to discover yourself to discover what is reality what is real life dear viewers today's man is conditioned by religion beliefs ideas tradition and society according to jay krishna murthy the function of education is to help man to live freely without fear in his words intelligence means the capacity to think freely without fear without a formula it means to find out for yourself what is true an integral intelligent mind is always clear simple he said that we should have spiritual ambition also worldly ambition is necessary but along with worldly ambition we should have spiritual ambition because worldly ambition produces anxiety and fear once a person is frightened he can never be intelligent when a person grows he is afraid of several things he is afraid of examinations he is afraid of placement he is afraid of leaving he is afraid of getting a child losing a job promotion death and so on and therefore j krishnamurti has stated most of us have fear in one for another and where there is fear there is no intelligence there is no end to education it is not that you read a book pass an examination and finish with education the whole of life from the moment you are born to the moment you die is a process of learning so this process of learning goes on now he has focused on attention attention comes to a person only when the person is interested in something attention comes to a person only when he loves to find all about it once attention comes then the whole mind is there and the whole being is there but what happens in classroom the student stares at the window the teacher compels him to pay attention on, on the subject throughout his life a person is interested to do something but he is compelled to do something else against his will yes it happens we always see it happens around us religion education parents society tradition and everybody stand against him but the function of education is to help the student to find what he loves to do from the beginning to the end of his life according to krishnamurti learning is not restricted to classroom or to teacher but it is a lifelong process he says when you are really learning you are learning throughout your life and there is no one special teacher to learn from because a person learns from everything even a dead leaf can teach him impermanency or transitory nature a bird in flight can teach him freedom and so on so the function of education is not to try to fit a student into the rotten society but to give him complete inward freedom to grow independently if a child is allowed to grow independently if that child is given freedom then and then 
we can create a new society only a person in constant revolt inwardly against tradition against his bondage can discover what is true and then and then he can create a new society so in this essay j krishna murthy has argued that the purpose of education is to prepare people for life and it is done by making students feel free when they are free they can think freely dear viewers society is corrupt society is violent it is oppressive and if students don't think freely they will also be corrupt violent and oppressive therefore they must be allowed to think freely so that they will rebel against everything that is wrong in the society they can change the society and therefore j krishna murthy had stated that students or children should be allowed to think freely that freedom should be given to them society's problem can only be solved if people don't think in the terms of formulas they have been given by society or they have been given by their schools but they have to revolt against this society when people are educated to do what they love to do they can solve society's problems because they can do what they will what they like to do and in this way they will not be competing with anyone else dear students nowadays in this modern era we see competitions everywhere and these competitions are contributing to the problems of society now the time has come to give freedom to our students to give freedom to our children they should be allowed to think freely that freedom should be given to them now we have to think what is life is it meditation only or it is religion only or is it joys of nature no dear viewers life is not only meditation religion or joys of nature it is something an extraordinary thing the birds the flowers the flourishing trees the heaven the stars the rivers the fish all all this is life life is poor and the rich life is meditation life is religion life is something subtle something hidden something hidden which is hidden from our mind and this is called life we generally prepare ourselves to understand only one small corner of life because what we do we pass certain examinations we find a job we get married then we have children then we become more and more like machines so it is just a routine for we all but in spite of all these things we remain fearful we remain anxious we are frightened of life so j krishnamurthy has asked the question is it the function of education to help us to understand the whole process of life or is it merely to prepare us for a vocation or for a job dear viewers 
what is going to happen to all of us when we grow to be men and women yes he has asked this question what is going to our life have we asked this question to ourselves education has no meaning if it does not help us us to understand the vast expanse of life if it does not help us to understand life if it does not understand help us to understand its subtleties its extraordinary beauty its sorrows and joys j krishnamurthy said you may earn degrees you may have a series of letters after your name you may have a land you may have a very good job but but then what is it what is the point of all it if the process of your mind become dull weary and stupid so while you are young you try to find out what is life and education prepares us to understand life he said to understand life is to understand ourselves and that is both the beginning and the end of education so in his opinion education means to understand life and it is a lifelong process so let me conclude with one quote intelligence is the capacity to perceive the essential the what is and to awaken this capacity in ourselves and in others is education so if you are not willing to learn no one can help you and if you are determined to learn no one can stop you thank you